Hello, you absolute legends. Welcome back to the channel from my workshop for a change. This is the Proton Garage, and as you can see, I am here with possibly the most famous car from my collection. This is my Proton 1.5 GL, the Black Knight Edition. And it's famous because, well, we won the Festival of the Unexceptional 2021, and people around the world went bonkers for the car. It is the last one left in the world. There are no more Proton Black Knights left. In this video, I'm gonna take it for an MOT because next week we are taking it to the Festival of the Unexceptional 2024. It's being held on the 27th of June at Grimsthorpe Castle locally. And at the moment, well, we're not going because it hasn't got an MOT. I'm gonna take it to Neil. Hopefully it will pass with flying colors. Dad has put some new steering rack gator boots on the front and had a quick look at it, but we don't expect there to be too much or anything wrong with the Black Knight. Come with me then, we'll go for a drive in the car, we'll go and see Neil, and hopefully by the end of it, it'll be another year of trouble-free, advisory-free motoring for the Black Knight, and I'll see you at the Festival of the Unexceptional next week. And here we go. <laughs> Right, so we're in the Black Knight and we're on the way to Neil's for the MOT test. And I haven't driven this car since the Festival of the Unexceptional 2023. It is a five-speed manual gearbox powered by a 1.58 valve Magma Mitsubishi engine. It's covered 13,144 miles from new. And if you don't know about the Black Knight, well, it is the only one left in the world. And people say, John, how can you say that? Well, it's been confirmed by both the DVLA and Proton. The Black Knight is actually underneath a 1.5 GL. It is, by all accounts and means, a marketing ploy from Proton to sell base spec models that they had left in stock. What did the Black Knight get you? Well, you got yourself some beautiful Black Knight branded wheel trims, which were actually supplied by a company called Silver Knight down in Bristol. You got yourself a rubberized boot spoiler and a sticker pack down the side. And that was pretty much it. That's what you got for your extra money for your Black Knight edition. 201 of these were made. And uh, this is the only remaining example left in the world. As I say, confirmed by Proton and confirmed by the DVLA. Which is sad, but also I'm happy that I am the custodian of it. The fact that this one has survived, well, it was put in a garage. So it was bought in 1989 by the original owner and put in a garage in 1993, where it sat until 2019. It was pulled out by a collector upon his death and then went into the hands of a couple of people. Uh, someone called Daniel, who lived in Blackpool, who actually used it as a daily, and he put sort of like 9,000 miles on the clock. And then it went to a collector called Ken Hughes, who I bought it from. Goodness me, I am roasting already in the Black Knight. It's a lovely day in Lincolnshire. So when we get to Neil's, what are we going to see? Well, we're going to see Neil do the emissions test. We're going to see him jack up the car. I can have a good look around underneath and inside, and he will test the brakes and the lights. I won't be able to show you the full MOT test because, well, that's not allowed, but I can show you the best of, the best of the collection of the Black Knight MOT. It is a no frills car, no power steering, no air conditioning, manual windy windows and I think that is what led to it being uh, a winner of the festival of the unexceptional now in 2021. I love driving this car. I love that I'm the custodian of the car and I love that this car is famous now in its own right. It's not me that's famous for having the Black Knight. It's the Black Knight that's famous for being the Black Knight and I love that. Fingers crossed then for another year's worth of trouble-free motoring here with the Black Knight. Oh, so warm. I've been moaning about all the rain. And then we can take it to the Festival of the Unexceptional next week. If it fails, well, 
We might not make it because I'm working five days next week and Neil is pretty busy. So there is a lot riding on this. Dad's giving it the once over. I don't envisage there being a problem, but you just never know, do you? Something could go wrong. I could break a spring on the way there. And that would be devastating news. Right, so I'm just pulling into the MOT test centre. It's been a lovely drive. It's been sort of 10 minutes. And uh, we shall get the car on the ramp. And we shall speak to Neil. 13,152 miles. In we go. Here we are. Good morning. All right, mate. How are you? Not bad. 13,152. Leave I'll leave a run in. Handbrake on or off? Oh. Let's go. So as you've just seen, I've arrived at the MOT test centre and the first thing Neil will do is do a walk around visual inspection of the car. You can see that it looks quite good on the ramp. MOT visual inspection done and dusted. The next thing is the emissions test. Neil inserts a probe into the exhaust and he checks the CO2 and the lambda and everything else coming out of the car, the emissions. It's now the waiting game. How's it looking? It's time to remove the probe and and well, as you can see, it's a pass and a good pass as well. Uh, very good emissions on the car, which I'm happy about. Next thing then is to send the car up on the ramp and check underneath, check the tires, check the bearings, check the ball joints and everything like that. And while Neil is doing that, I get a chance to look underneath the car as well, look at the sills, and uh, as you can see, the near side sill, apart from a few dust and dirt particles, it is nice and clean, no rust, no rock bubbles on there or anything similar. It comes down then, and Neil jacks up the front a little bit, and I get a chance to have a look again underneath the car. You can see there's a little bit of corrosion on the exhaust, but underneath, looking nice and tidy. The car wax oiled from new, a little bit of surface corrosion there, but absolutely nothing to worry about. Certainly doesn't look like it's been under the sea for the past 20 years. There is the other side of that sill. That is the offside sill. Again, a little bit of surface corrosion there, but nothing that I'm worried about. Certainly something I'm going to be treating later on this month. As you can see, Neil is rocking the uh, suspension there, making sure the ball joints are okay. And then it's time to do the back. Uh, after he's done this side, Neil commenting on the brand new steering rack gator boots that Dad has fitted. Shout out to Dad for doing that at such late notice. Uh, sorry about the flickering, by the way. LED lights uh, are causing havoc with my camera here. Neil's fitted some new lights. I did tell him off. <laughs> I'm gonna have to find the setting to deal with that. Underneath the car again, really lucky that I get to have a good look round, fuel tank looking good. And up we go again to jack the rear of the car up and do the same again at the rear. Here's the front, looking nice and shiny, making sure I've not missed any bits or when I've cleaned it. And that is the inspection done on that bit, time to get it down and onto the rolling road. And at this point, Neil is gonna check the lights, the wipers, the um, levels and fluids, and the braking as well. He'll put it on the road, rolling road. It's got an automatic rolling road that um, tells him the braking percentage, tests the front, the rear, and the handbrake. It is always good to see, mesmerizing to see too. Doesn't she look good <laughs> from above on the rolling road there? Excellent. Uh, where are the wheel trims, John? I hear you cry. Well, they're in the boot. I don't drive the car with the wheel trims on. But you will get to see the wheels close up there. Dad and I refurbished them a few years back. And look at that Black Knight stripe down the side. It's the end of the test then. Once Neil has finished the front here, he will just check the lights and uh, you'll get to see them moving. Fingers crossed it's a pass. He's got a serious look on his face, very hard to read. <laughs> and he'll park up the car and give me, hopefully, some good news. That's it then, back from the MOT test centre with another advisory free pass for the Proton Black Knight. Did I expect there to be any problems? Well, 
no actually I didn't I know that the car is good I know that the car has been looked after and I know that the, con the car underneath is as good as it looks on the outside it is well pretty much perfect and that's why it's a concourse winner I brag about that because I'm proud of that so apologies if you think well hang on a minute John stop banging on about your uh, your black knight and how good it is but I'm proud of this little car I really am anyway uh, yeah no advisories no problems and we're off to the festival of the unexceptional next Saturday uh, the 27th of July if you're coming then look out for me and dad dad will be bringing the white SE and I'll be bringing this uh, come and say hello and come and have a look around the Black Knight because that's the point of it um, it's in my custodianship and it stays in my garage for 363 days of the year which is sad but also that's where it probably needs to be till next time have a great day whatever you're getting up to if you haven't liked the video please do consider subscribing as well lots of new subscribers in the past couple of weeks mainly due to a rusty old barn find proton that we pulled out um, and comment down below what do you reckon to the black knight uh, do you want to see some more black knight content on the channel i know i should drive it more please don't shout at me but also i'd hate for anything to happen to it if i was just taking it for a jolly and it got written off because then well no more black knight in the world till next time have a great day thanks for watching goodbye there are so many more Proton related videos on the channel and I've actually selected a couple that I think you might like here uh, on this page. Give them a click to watch them now. Don't forget to subscribe for more Proton fun and lots more videos coming soon.